Today we're learning how to crochet the solid shell stitch. To begin, crochet in multiples of 6 plus 1. To start onto row 1, you need to chain 1. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then, in the second chain from your hook, you want to crochet a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through that chain stitch. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now you want to skip two chain stitches and in that third chain stitch crochet a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again and pull back through that chain stitch. You should now have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Now you want to crochet another four double crochets into the same stitch as well. This will help to create that beautiful shell stitch that we all know and love. If you're not 100% familiar with the double crochet stitch, I have an easy tutorial on my YouTube channel that I'll link in the description. So one more double crochet to go. There you go. As you can see, you've crocheted five double crochets into one stitch. Now you want to skip two chain stitches and in that third chain stitch you want to crochet a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through that chain stitch, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So you want to continue this pattern of skipping two chain stitches, crocheting five double crochets in the next one, skipping two chain stitches and crocheting a single crochet in the next stitch, all the way across till you get to the very end of this row. So this is how it looks after you've crocheted the first row. Let's move on to row 2, shall we? So to begin you need to chain 2. Then you want to turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now you want to crochet 3 double crochets in the same stitch as the 2 chains are in. So that's the first double crochet. Then you want to crochet two more double crochets in the same stitch. This creates half of a shell stitch. One more double crochet. There we go. Now skip two stitches and crochet a single crochet into that next stitch, the third one. Perfect! Now skip another two stitches and then crochet five double crochets into the top of that single crochet from the previous row. This will create, once again, a shell stitch. So that's the first double crochet, then you want to crochet another four double crochets into the same stitch. Halfway there, only two more stitches to go. Last double crochet. Perfect, that creates a shell. Now you want to skip two stitches, then crochet a single crochet into the next stitch, and skip another two stitches and crochet five double crochets in the next stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way across. So to end off row two, you want to crochet three double crochets in that last stitch. This creates half of a shell stitch. So that's the first double crochet. Now we're on to the second one. One more double crochet to go. Perfect! That is the end of row 2. It's already coming together as you can see. Let's move on to row 3, shall we? So to begin, chain 1. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then you want to turn your work so that you are crocheting in the other direction. Crochet a single crochet in that first stitch. So the same stitch as the chain 1. Then you want to skip two stitches 
and in that third stitch you want to crochet five double crochets. Remember, the five double crochets create the shell stitch. I just love this stitch as it's so easy to learn, as all it really uses is double crochets and single crochets, which are two of the most basic crochet stitches, so really anyone can learn this pattern. So onto the third double crochet. Two more double crochets to go. Last one. Perfect. Now you want to skip two stitches and then crochet a single crochet in the next stitch. Then you want to skip two stitches, crochet five double crochets in the next stitch, skip two stitches, crochet a single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way across till you get to the very end. So this is how it looks after you've completed row three. You want to continue repeating row two and row three until you've reached your desired length. As you can see, it's quite an easy stitch to learn. Once you've repeated row two and row three multiple times, this is the beautiful texture and design that you're left with making it a great stitch to use in blankets and scarves and all sorts of different projects. Another great thing is, is that it's reversible, making it equally beautiful on either side. Be sure to check out my blog hopefulhoney.com for lots of free crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.